Coast and we are live once again. Welcome back guys, Stephanie Hunter here from Hamilton, New Zealand and my beautiful friend from Pai here in New Zealand, Karen Crichton. Karen has just been a wealth of information if you've been following our YouTube clips and this is going to be no different. Today we are going through our, uh, we're developing our In Your Backyard series and we are going to be discussing our guest today which is Plantain. So take it away Karen, talk to us about Plantain. Oh, Plantain. One of my favourites and can be found all over the world in various different guises. So most probably you have plantain in your garden, in your lawn. And if you're fastidious about your lawn, it's probably a bane of your lifetime. But it has huge, huge health benefits. Stephanie's going to put the photo on the front of this video. So you'll see one of the aspects of it. So there's plantain. And I used to, as a, as a kid, used to sit on the lawn and I used to pull this plantain. And it's, it's sort of when you pull the stalk, it's got like little guitar strings. And that's how one of the identifying um, factors of it. It's got ribbed, um, they're also known as ribwort. It's got like a, a rib going through the back of it. And it is one of the most amazing herbs well, they're all amazing, but this one's amazing because it's so prolific and has a rich herbal history used for chronic skin conditions and general weakness of the nervous system and has been regarded as a nourishing and versatile tonic. Plantain has a tremendous folk history as a first aid herb to use on the spot. And the reason is, is because it's brilliant for bites, cuts, grazes, and stinging from other plants. Also, it's amazing for stings. As an example, when I was walking on the beach one day up here in the far north of New Zealand, um, I stood on a jellyfish. Oh my God, the pain was excruciating. So I just, we ran up onto the bank and there was wonderful plantain. And what you need to do with that is you scrunch it up, or actually I just put it in my mouth and chewed it a little bit so it's, the juices can run. And then you just put it on the sting. I put it on the sting and all, almost immediately the relief of the pain was gone. And so this can help with anything like stinging nettles and that sort of thing. So if you fall in a, fall in a, a batch of stinging nettles or you just get grazed by it, then nearly always will be plantain, even better than dock leaves, because a lot of people, if you come from UK or somewhere where there's a lot of stinging nettles, you nearly always find dock leaves close to, to stinging nettles too. But, but this plantain is nearly always there, no matter where you are in the world. And so what it can do, is you can just rub it on there and it will literally melt away the pain. However, stunning. what a lot of people don't know is internally, Plantain can be used for as the, on the inside as an internal healer. So it has except, exceptional healing and soothing qualities and help really good with anyone who has damaged internal digestion lining. So for example, like stomach ulcers, leaky gut, even gastritis, um, you know, you name it. If you have a problem with your gut, it's really worthwhile using plantain it really is mind-bogglingly good it's also really good for the urinary tract and so people who have um, a predisposition to having uh, kidney problems or even urinary tract infections all the time so if you have cystitis and that sort of thing it's really really good for that and and it is so simple to use so it just can help with many different diseases. It's been used for um, glandular swellings, for example, like, and also even tuberculosis, syphilis, which we don't hear of much nowadays, but it helps with syphilis. It's also um, mercury poisoning. It can be really good for heavy metal um, poisoning. So with mercury poisoning, of course, many people are, are talking about mercury being used in in so many different ways, this can really, really help. So 
it can help with the ulcerations of the mucous membrane. So for example, if you have mouth ulcers, can be really good. So also it can be given if you've got diarrhea or dysentery. Um, and so it can be really, really gentle, but very, very effective. Also, if you suffer from hemorrhoids, then it can be good, taken internally and externally too. So if you have um, hemorrhoids that are, are actually external as well as internal, then you can apply to that too. Um, also really good for anyone who has um, periods that are very heavy and um, or, or painful, so it can be used there. Um, so as you can see, it's a really, really beneficial herb for so many things. I've used it um, with clients who have had toothache and just a, a bit of the juice on, on cotton wool and you can apply it into the tooth cavity. I mean, you can also use other things, but this one can be used very well. So it can actually help stop the pain quite quickly. Um, as a herbalist, we use this for as an expectorant, um, anti-inflammatory, astringent. So an astringent basically means that it can take away the water. So it actually brings down the inflammation. Antimicrobial, plus it can help relieve the pain of shingles. So if you've ever had shingles, you know how painful that is. And so- oh, Is there anything that I can't do? This is amazing. I had no idea about plantain. This is phenomenal. I know, it's just, it's also really good for anyone who has problems with it, urinary incontinence. So if there's a, a lot of kids have urinary incontinence, uh, incontinence at night, so they might wait at the bed. Using plantain as a tea is a really, really good way of helping with that. And so it's just my, my go-to if there's any stings or anything else, because it is so prolific. It's definitely worth using. The other thing to remember is um, plantain, its seed pods, which you'll see at the, in the photo, is actually what we know as psyllium husks. So psyllium husks are the seed pods of the plantain flower. And of course, most of us will know that psyllium husks are a fiber. They're used in things like metamucil and stuff like that. So, yeah. So oh that word. is lovely, lovely, hugely beneficial plantain. This is phenomenal. I'm blown away with plantain. Absolutely blown away. It's, uh, it's almost like a must-have, isn't it? Must-have weed. Oh, it is. And, and the thing is, is what really gets me is people, we, we've lost so much of the folklore knowledge that people don't realise what they've got in their garden, in the hedgerows. You, they, they don't even think twice about it. There's a lot of different plantains. And so the photo you've got is what's called lancelita, and it's got lancelita. Long, yeah, anyway, it's got long, thin leaves. The other ones, um, the other ones have fat leaves and stuff. And, so, and there's some that grow up and some that grow close to the ground. So that once you know what, what you're looking at, then you, you'll find it everywhere. Love it. Mm. Guys, I'm sitting here going, oh gosh, all these things you could be using it for. And I said, why didn't we know this? But then that's why we're shooting these videos for Karen, because we want to fill in those gates where the folklore has been lost. Absolutely. And we'll that's bring what, it back in. You know, one just, of we... my passions to, so Absolutely. that people can really know what, they, what potentiality they have close by. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm so honoured to be part of this journey with creating this series of In Your Backyards with you, Karen, because you, you blow my mind. Every time we touch on a subject, I think, oh, well, it's only going to be a two or three minute shot. A video there because it was can't be too much to be saying about plantain or dandelions. You blow my mind every single time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you the know, the deeper you go, the deeper you go. You know, the better it, it really. The the more you learn, the more you want to learn with this because it is just like, wow, we have that. You know, wow, we have that. We are empowered. Mother Nature cares for us and has cared for us for thousands and thousands of years. And she gives us the answers, but we've just lost the language until now, which is the yeah. purpose of this, this video, video series or info videos as we're calling them. 
Yeah. So please, guys, I'm going to ask you a couple of things. First of all, give it up for Karen. So massive clips. Thank you so much, Karen, for all that you're doing for us and the love that you're sharing this information, phenomenal information with us all. It's just coming from a space of love, a space of your heart. Uh, it just blows my mind. Your giving nature is incredible. So we'll also ask you, please, to subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel. And the reason why I'm asking you to subscribe is so that you get the information, of course, but also the more subscriptions we get, the more coverage we're going to take, the more people are going to be able to help and reach here. This is completely coha. Uh, this is no, there's no cost to this whatsoever. So we just want to get this information out to everybody so we all come in power to look after our own selves and our own beings and our own families. So the first, that's the, um, give it up to Karen, subscription. Right beside the word subscribe is a uh, icon. It's like, it looks like a bell. If you haven't done so already, please click on that bell, notification bell. A drop down menu would come up and click, uh, click the top selection, which is the word all, A-L-L, -L, which means you will be notified of all droplets of information, tidbits of teasing, tasty tidbits and all this. I'm, I'm <laughs> still thinking about plantain. Sorry, I'm not focusing on what I'm saying to you guys. I'm still thinking about all these gorgeous things that plantain can do for us. But please, click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell and share, 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 share this video out there. We all need to know this information. It should be in our first aid boxes. So thank you very much, for Karen, once again, for all your time and all your loving energy and the information that you've given us there. We will be back very shortly, guys, with your next In Your Backyard. Keep your eyes peeled. And, um, yeah, until then, harira, look after each other. Be safe, be well, be happy. Bye. Thank you. Bye.